Now that we got some of the little pond jitters out of the way, let's go take a peek at some of the fish that we got rocking here at Universal Rock, and then I'll give you an update on the tank. But first, let's check out a clownfish in an anemone. Let's go! It's so loud in here, from all the waters! First up to bat is the pseudo trophyist tank. It's gonna be really hard to see a lot of these guys. They don't like people. Or maybe it's just me. What's really cool about this tank is there isn't much maintenance, if any whatsoever. The water drops down, we fill it back up. These pseudo trophies are, are very good at just taking care of themselves. Uh, I do feed veggie formula two mil every once in a while. However, they seem to be doing really, really well off the algae that like builds up on the rocks and in the crevice of, of the background that's in here. And they're thriving very well. Uh, they get some natural sunlight, which helps from the door that's right to the right of this aquarium. And overall, super easy, but they're pseudo trophies and easily bred for the most part, and just not my cup of tea. Now we must check out Danny and Arnold and see how they're doing. Danny and Arnold are our rescue Oscars, and yeah, they are picky. Apparently they ate oranges and, I don't know, something else. But I'm doing okay with krill. You know, to be honest, they do the same thing over and over again. This. They don't change. Do you love Oscars? Let me know in the comments if Oscars are your thing. But now, African chicklets. So these guys are doing way better. I upped their food to a six millimeter jumbo pellet from Northfin. You can get it at northfinusa.com. But all of their colors are starting to just turn on. It's like somebody walked into the fish tank and said, these fish need a little bit of uh, light. And boom, light switch flicked, colors popping. Strigatus is looking super lush. Um, the Niger Ventor has exploded in the blues. The Bucachromis is definitely, definitely now showing the colors that I was hoping for. And the Exochromis, however, is not doing anything. Uh, everybody else is filling in nicely. The Holotania, however, just looks like the Holotania did videos ago, where I'm not sure if the thing's going to make it or not. Uh, he seems to be doing okay, but when it comes down to it, uh, he just looks very old. But very pleased with this tank. Not much maintenance goes in. Water changes, feeding... That's pretty much all she wrote for this guy. Gotta love African cichlids. So now let me bring you on a quick little trip to go check out what's going on with the six foot tank. It's gonna be a trophy of species that you probably don't see often, but let's go see where we're at with that. And that's where we're at with that. Still can't use the paint. Yes, I can take it home. Yes, I can paint it there, but it will not be the same. It just won't. It won't have the same look, it won't have the same texture, and when it comes down to it, I won't be as happy as if I'm just patient enough to allow the booth to free up. I mean, shoot, if we got jobs, I can't be mad. So in essence, as I take you down here, I want the six foot tank done. I want the 10 foot tank done. I want the room to be completed. But if I rush it, I'm not gonna be happy. I mean, I really want the 10 foot tank, but I've gotta plan it out. So let's go check out the six foot where it's at and uh, we'll talk a little bit about my thoughts. Cause everything's the same as the last time I showed you. I mean, literally now it's becoming a tape for other pieces of wood. Tank's still fine. It hasn't even been moved. Uh, and ultimately I've got to think of a background. So I'm, I'm thinking of a, a rocky background. So a thinner background, I'll show you that in a moment. And then um, I'm also thinking of these massively jagged rocks just shooting up, right? Just big rocks, not little rocks, but big boulders. Typically stuff that Universal Rocks would have. Let's say landscaping. And then a compressor comes on. So let me show you what I'm talking about regarding the background. You tell me what your thoughts are in the comments, and then we can go from there. Oh, by the way, there's my fake pond. <laughs> so the idea behind what I want to do with this tank is, like I said, thin, 
Rocky with a oh, oh, uh, oh get out of here oh, you oh hi you that's not their name it is now cool it's their name so rocky background with some massive rocks they're jagged uh, let me show you the material everyone always says but the rocky is so thin it doesn't look good what's well, in my 75 this oh this is horrible lighting there you go this is the rocky background super thin right so it allows me to do some really big bulky boulders inside that aquarium and let me show you exactly what I mean. Uh, do we have any of those big boulders I want in my trophies tank? Uh, somewhere. You know, it's always somewhere. It's always, you're gonna have to wait to paint your tank. It's always some, he's making fun of me. Benny was right! Ah! Oh God, I can't. They're actually not heavy. Are they somewhere over there? Look at this. <laughs> Big crazy boulders, I'm talking about this. And I'm also talking about the ability to cut them so we have some dramatic effects. And what I mean by that is, let me give you a closer look, a little bit of cinematography, but I want it to be dramatic for these trophies. Folks, I'm pumped. Six foot tank is slowly chugging along. I was actually supposed to meet up with Zenzo from Tazawa Tank, but unfortunately his work schedule got in the way and it happens sometimes and so, goodbye my lover, goodbye my friend. It's all good. Hope to see you folks on Sunday. Six foot's rolling, Oscars are chilling. Let me know in the comments what you think. I've asked you two questions. How do you feel about Oscars? And ultimately, how do you feel about that stuff? And remember in life, don't be a douche canoe. If you're paddling a boat and it's full of douchiness, stop. Smile, take care of yourself, take care of others. This world will be a much better place. It's far easier to change who you are than it is to try to change the world. So start with you. You know what's next. Aha!